video is about the carbon cycle and it's part of AQA, GCSE, Biology and Combined Science, and it's in the topic of ecology. So carbon is constantly being cycled um, from the air through food chains and eventually back it out into the air again. And we need to understand how that happens. So let's do a quick spec check and as you can see this is related to how materials are cycled now i've covered the water cycle in a previous uh, video so you can find that video on my youtube channel dr biology and today i'm going to be looking at the carbon cycle and how that returns carbon from organisms to the atmosphere as carbon dioxide uh, is used by plants in photosynthesis i'll also talk about why the carbon cycle is slightly not um well it's not balanced at this moment in time and again it's related to my other videos on the human impacts on the environment related to global warming so carbon well carbon is really important it's one of the major um, elements of the earth and also it makes up many uh, a large proportion of living organisms on this planet and we are made of carbon, we eat carbon, and our civilizations, our economies, our homes, our means of transport are all built on carbon. Um, and we need carbon, but also um, the problem is, is from burning fossil fuels, deforestation, that we're actually releasing too much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Um, each year, massive amounts of cycles, a large proportion of carbon though is locked up in things like fossil fuels, uh, trees, the oceans, um, rivers and lakes. So as it shows you here, 166 gigatons of carbon are cycled per year. That's a very big number. So in the carbon cycle, there are three main processes that you'll be asked about in the exam. And you would have uh, learned about all of these before. Uh, so photosynthesis, so where water and carbon dioxide is converted into glucose and oxygen, and that will remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Then respiration, so all living organisms respire, including things like microbes and detritivores, microbes as well and they take glucose plus oxygen and they release water and carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere and then the third process which is more related to chemistry uh, but it's about the burning of such things as trees and fossil fuels where carbon is released so fuel plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide plus water so those are the three processes you need to learn Okay, so this is a diagram of the carbon cycle. I'm just going to go briefly through it with you. So the first place I'm going to start is here. So regards CO2 in the air, dissolved in water, and particularly the oceans. And the main way that uh, CO2 is going to be removed is via green plants. So green plants are going to photosynthesize um, and therefore release but well not release they're going to be taking up carbon dioxide it's important to state that uh, via photosynthesis organic compounds are locked up in green plants now obviously um, they're going to be fed upon because they they are producers they're the start of food chains and they're fed upon by animals and the animals are going to take in those organic compounds and they're going to use them for uh, biomass, for example. Um, however, all organisms, including plants and animals, they're going to be respiring. So when they respire, they return the CO2 to the atmosphere. So both plants and animals will be doing that. Um, also, all living things will eventually die. So you get organic compounds in dead organisms. And again, through decay and decomposition due to microbes and detritivores that will release co2 into the atmosphere but some of those carbon compounds might be locked up into the ground so such things as peat bogs for example uh, but also buried and then um, they are 
stored for a long period of time. Now, what's been happening more recently with an increase in human populations, uh, there's been a large amount of combustion of these fossil fuels. So that's releasing uh, large amounts of carbon dioxide into the air. Another carbon sink, I have mentioned plants, another carbon sink is water, particularly oceans. So in the oceans, there is a large proportion of carbon dioxide locked up there um, um, in terms of uh, in, in water. OK, so here's uh, some definitions and well, keywords and definitions. So what I'd like you to do is just pause the video for a second and decide which keyword matches up with with which definition okay so first of all photosynthesis green plants do this to make glucose it uses light energy to react carbon dioxide with water and oxygen is released respiration a chemical reaction that releases energy it uses up glucose and oxygen carbon dioxide and water are produced Combustion, burning, that's the process by which fuels react with oxygen to release carbon dioxide and heat energy. And decomposition, um, scientific word for rotting or decay, and fungi, bacteria, and detritus feeders, so maggots, uh, for example, and worms, they break down dead organisms, and the nutrients go into the soil. Again, carbon dioxide is released during respiration. So I'm going to now show you some exam questions. So again, what I would like you to do on the video is to pause now. OK, so let's go through some of the answers. So this question, it says about carbon. It shows the graph shows the mass of carbon added to and removed from the atmosphere each year. And it shows you mass of carbon in billions of tons per year. So on the left is the added to the atmosphere. On the right is the removed from the atmosphere. And it asks you to name process X. So process X by plants and algae, that would be photosynthesis. Then it asks you, well, the reason it's photosynthesis, sorry, is because that is the car um, carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere by photosynthesis. Also looking at the, the diagram is the only missing process there as well. Then it says calculate the mass of carbon added to the atmosphere by respiration per year. So you need to look at the left side of the graph and you need to add up the bars. OK, so it says calculate the mass of carbon added to the atmosphere by respiration per year. So we need to look at the um, label so respiration by plants and algae respiration by animals and respiration by microbes but we're not going to add up the combustion because that is not related to respiration so we need to read off the scale so it says 50 the second one is 60 and the third one is 30 so you add those up and you get 140. Last question. Some scientists are concerned that the mass of carbon in the atmosphere is changing. How does the data in the graph support this idea? Well, you need to add up the, the, the carbon dioxide added to the atmosphere and removed to the atmosphere. So you need to show what well, you need to first of all work out the differences. So if I add up the left column, it's 150. And if it's the right column removed from the atmosphere, it's 140. So therefore, 10 billion tonnes more of carbon dioxide is added than removed. OK, so this question, so this is more, uh, this is actually a six mark question. So you have to write quite a lot uh, related to it. And it shows you the diagrams of the parts of the carbon cycle. Notice it's different to the diagram I showed you earlier. They can show you lots of different diagrams related to the carbon cycles, but they're pretty much the same kind of processes. Then it says, describe how living things are involved in the constant cycling of carbon. So describe is just to say what you know. It's not, you don't have to explain why. You just have to go through using um, the diagram to help you to, dis to just describe how carbon cycle works. Well, not even works, but what happens in the carbon cycle. Again, I would like you to pause, please and have a go on a piece of paper, and then you can use a green pen to make your improvements.
So your answer could include lots of these different points. It doesn't need all of these points for six marks, but uh, you're describing. So plants photosynthesize and they therefore, they take in carbon dioxide or remove carbon dioxide from the at atmosphere. They use the carbon though. You need to say wh what they use it for and they use it to make carbohydrates, proteins, fats, for example. Animals are going to eat those plants and then they respire. Also plants respire, as we said and they release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Um, plants and animals will die and therefore microbes decay and therefore they respire and release carbon dioxide. So that is the answer. Question three, another diagram of a carbon cycle and this time they've got some letters on it and it says the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has increased over the last hundred years give two human activities that have might have caused this increase and then you need to give letters to show respiration and decay so I'll let you have a go at that uh, so I'd like to pause the video please and have a go so two human activities that might have caused this increase well there are many activities that might have caused the increase so you could have any two from things like burning fossil fuels deforestation or peat bog destruction so remember um, my other video on the human impacts of the environment and we talk about those three things in a lot of detail then it says give the letters of two arrows in the diagram which show respiration well respiration is releasing carbon uh, releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so it could be b c or d so b coming from dead animals and plants c uh, well, that's from microbes, sorry, from dead anim animals and plants. Animals respiring and plants respiring too, and they release uh, CO2. Then it says, give the letter of one arrow which shows decay. Okay, well, that will be B because decay, dead animals and plants have decayed. Um, and that would be the correct answer. Question four, I'm hitting you with different diagrams of the carbon cycle and yet again, it's another letter one. Okay, so what I would like you to do again is pause the video, have a go at the questions and then we'll go through them in a minute. So again, they give you lots of letters and it says letter A represents respiration. So it tells you that A is respiration. Which two other letters represent rep, um, respiration. So it's talking about respiration and microbes. Well, we also know respiration occurs in plants and also respiration occurs in animals. So it can only be B and D. Other than carbon dioxide, name two carbon compounds found in plants. Well, that's a bit more difficult, but um, you need to think, well, what are plants using the carbon dioxide for? So it's converted into things like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, amino acids, chlorophyll, DNA. So there's lots of different answers you could have there. And then the last question, gardeners use compost heaps to, to decay dead plants. It says decayed compost is then spread onto the soil in a garden. Explain why gardeners spread decayed compost onto the soil. So this is not really fully related to the carbon cycle but the answer would be um, that they provide minerals or nutrients and these allow the plants to grow more vigorously or better uh, or any any answer that's talking about plants growing um, better or faster for example so with all of these exact questions um, just remember that they give you lots of information um, they can know in terms of the carbon cycle it's always about the three processes so photosynthesis respiration and combustion if you remember that then you should be okay when you answer the style of i hope you found that uh, video useful please do subscribe if you haven't already to uh, dr biology and there'll be more videos coming soon